And just as another example, let's go into our scan data here. And I'm going to do, I go into Fast Shader. If you want to see the making of this, either on my YouTube channel or my ArtStation page, there's a photogrammetry basics that'll walk you through how to do that. And if we go around to the back here, uh, occasionally what'll happen, I'm going to go into my Trim Dynamic Brush, and I'm going to turn on RGB. And sometimes what'll happen when you're doing scan data is you'll kind of get something that doesn't quite scan all the way or doesn't quite process. Uh, but there's probably going to be other areas of your asset that you can use to uh, kind of clean this up a little bit. So the extractor brush we already talked about. So we can go to BXT, and then we have RGB turned on. I can make my brush size big enough. So I'm just going to go through here. I'm going to hit G, and we can extract down through here. And again, if you need to capture more detail, make sure under Alpha uh, you change that Alpha width. But now we can go through here and kind of just drag along, and now we can kind of clean that area up. Now, this isn't the only extractor brush we have available to us. If we do BX, uh, D is dot, and R is extract drag rec. So if we go to D, uh, drag dot, extractor dot, and we hit G. Uh, let's say we want to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to just, uh, kind of drag over this little area here. And now when I go through, I can actually drag dot that detail I extracted from the back right here. You can kind of see it's kind of like a, stamp, a clone stamp tool. So you kind of go through here and you can kind of clone stamp this. Uh, alternatively, you can also go BX, R, which is drag rect. Now this one, uh, the extraction is going to be a little bit different. You can hit G, and then when you click and drag, it's actually just going to sample what's underneath that blue. So just click and drag and let go. And it's going to capture the alpha and the texture, and now you can just use the drag rect stroke. Again, kind of like a clone stamp tool. And if I want to grab something that has a little bit more cross hatching in it, kind of with this surface treatment, again I can hit G, go ahead and grab this area, and just apply the result to that area right there. So there we go. We get that uh, cleaned up pretty quickly and easily.